Yo, chat, listen up. I'm back. As you can see, I know y'all is happy, y'all is excited that Noxie is back. But look, I'm gonna need everybody down in the comment section. Spam up, happy birthday to Noxie. Today is my birthday. I appreciate every single last one of y'all telling me happy birthday. I just turned 24, you know what I'm saying? March 9th, 2000. That's when I was born. But that's besides the point. Y'all is here for the video. I just wanna let y'all know that I really love y'all. I really appreciate if y'all go say happy birthday down in the comment section. To Noxie. Like I said, it really means a lot, especially coming from the Noxie family. If you haven't joined the Noxie family yet, make sure that you go down in the comment section and put hashtag KNOX, YYFAM. I'm going to like it and let you know that you're Noxie family. But look, as you can see, oh wait, I ain't even said my intro. I'm bugging. Let me go ahead and say my intro, then we're going to get started with the video. What's up, YouTube, man? It's your boy T2D Noxie, but shh, don't tell nobody. Look, check this out. As you can see by the title of the thumbnail, yes, we are on a new channel, and the name of the new channel is called EWU Body Cam. But the title of the video that we are reacting to today is called Stranded Mortarist Has a Disturbing Secret. Damn. And the thumbnail is crazy, as y'all can see. The thumbnail is bad crazy. So y'all let me know what y'all think. We ready to go ahead and react to it. Um, go ahead and grab y'all woods, y'all rock cones, y'all blunts, anything to get you mad high. And uh, today I am smoking on a red switch leaf. As you can see, this motherfucker is beautiful and pretty. Y'all let me know what y'all did smoking on. I ain't gonna lie. But, um... Yeah, make sure that you go follow me on my Instagram. We'll be linked down in the description. I really appreciate if you guys go follow me because it's my birthday. I, that, that really mean a lot. If I could reach to at least, I'm at 10.1K followers on Instagram, I think. If I could at least hit 50 followers on my Instagram, that's how I know that y'all came from YouTube to Instagram. So I really appreciate the nice family. Go ahead and show love on my social media, which is Instagram. We'll be linked down in the description so it'll be easy for you guys to follow it. But yeah, I'm not about to keep talking. I'm about to go ahead and get started with the video. So go ahead and grab your words. We raise our blessings. So go ahead and buy your heads. Follow along. I really appreciate if you guys do so. Without further ado, let's get started with this prayer. Thank you, God, for this wood. Bless it. And purifiers. In Jesus' name, we smoke. Let's get mad hot, chat. I ain't even gonna lie. Let me go ahead and put the headset on so I can be ready for this video. Because this video look like it's ready to be the bomb. Y'all go ahead and buckle y'all seatbelts. And grab y'all snacks and grab y'all bed. Y'all gonna be parts doing this video. Y'all gonna have the munchies. So let me just go ahead and grab my water. Chat. Let me go ahead and grab my water. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Got the water bottle. Straight. Got my wood. Straight. I ain't got no snacks. That's okay. Let's go ahead and get the video started. Let me go ahead and spark this wood. Then we're gonna get started with the video. I just wanna, you know what I'm saying, be prepared. Cause I got a lot of more videos to make. I really do. Y'all probably like, damn, why you making videos on your birthday? Look, the ground won't stop. I don't give a fuck who birthday it is. You know what I'm saying? The ground won't stop. Still gotta go ahead and continue with the career. No bullshit. I'm just glad to see another day. Y'all let me know y'all fuck with Noxy down in the comment section. That would really mean so much to me. I ain't gonna lie. But without further ado, let's get started with the video. Oh my god, bro. These ads, bro. I'm about to go ahead and just buy the motherfucking uh the no ad shit. You're let's still get here! It. You're still here! What happened? He don't come, man. Oh, he's still not here? Yeah, you kidding me? I don't know yet. <laughs> let me see what your car looks like. Let me see. Hold on. Copy. It's gonna be a reference to a uh, homicide suspect got a blue shorter. You need to open. I don't know what's in there. I just gotta make sure there's no one else or anything else in there. So I'm wow. gonna just detain you for a little bit until I figure out what's in your car. What? Let me wow. see what's in your car and then I'll get you your jacket. Okay. okay. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. What the hell? Why? Ah! Ah! Uh -huh. Stop! Uh -huh. When patrol officer Selena Hernandez spots a young woman stranded on the side of the road along her normal route in Torrance County, New Mexico, it's uh -huh. likely she doesn't expect very much. The only thing on her mind is the safety of this unfortunate driver and perhaps right. whether or not she knows where to find a spare tire. Indeed, as officer Hernandez attempts to help this motorist in distress, there's nothing to suggest that this simple welfare check will be anything but routine or that it would see her locked in a struggle with a woman hiding a disturbing secret. On the evening of September 22nd, 2021, Officer Selena Hernandez of the New Mexico State Police Department is patrolling along Interstate 40 when she okay. notices a silver Honda CRV parked in the grass beside the busy highway. She turns her vehicle around and makes her way toward the lone driver, a young right. woman in her early 30s. As she nears the CRV, Officer Hernandez can make out that the rear tires have been completely blown out. Above the mangled rubber, she takes note of the car's curious Pennsylvania license plate. Damn. Clearly, this woman is having a rough night, and right. it's only 6.30. 
Yeah, I can see that. You got two flat tires. Your family's coming? Yeah. From where? What? Where is your family coming from? What? Where from? I'm from. Where is your family coming from? Just uh, in the New Mexico. Come over here. I can't hear you. The woman, who later identifies herself simply as Wang, explains that a friend of hers is coming from Albuquerque to help her, though it. Listen, I'm not trying to be. <laughs> wow. It's like. I think I know what I'm about to say. Why is every one of y'all kinds not saying it like that? You feel me? I'm not racist. No way near. I love any race anybody is, gang. I ain't gonna lie to you, bro. I don't care if you're black or white, Hispanic. Latino, I don't give a fuck what you are. I will fuck with you. Dead ass for who you are. But why every time it's one of y'all, y'all type of people, not saying like that, but when it's like y'all, y'all got the same name, Wayne. What what do that mean? What do that stand for? I feel like it stands for something for y'all to be having similar names like that. Like, there's no way that I couldn't come up with a different name. Like, it's always a Wayne at some it's either a last name Wayne or the first name is Wayne. Regardless, it would be a wing inside the name. Like, you feel me? Middle name, last name, or first name. It's crazy. I never got it. I still won't get it. Somebody let me know. Because somebody... Because this, this is ridiculous. I just feel like y'all just giving up. Y'all don't want to try the names no more. Whoever raised y'all or birthed y'all. take this friend a significant <laughs> amount of time to get there. Officer Hernandez decides not to encroach too much on this situation. Right. So you don't need my help? It's only... Okay, good luck. Yes, it may be, um, uh, it is. Okay, good luck. Okay. Assured that help is on its way, Officer Hernandez clears the scene to continue her patrol. By all reasonable expectations, this is when her involvement with Wang should end. However, right. as she leaves the CRV in her rearview mirror, a call comes into the New Mexico State Police Department from the NYPD that Officer Hernandez never would have suspected. State Police, this is Sutter Mafia. Hi, how you doing? Uh, this is New Mexico, uh, New Mexico State Police. Yes, sir. Hey, how are you, ma'am? I'm with the NYPD. I was wondering if uh, you guys could help us out with something. The detective explains that a suspect in one of their ongoing investigations is reportedly in Torrance County, almost exactly where Officer Hernandez had found Wang. So mm -hmm. we have a phone uh, phone number pinging at that location, oh. and we actually and we have uh, confidential. Uh, we have somebody telling us that she is at that location. The car is blown out. She is the suspect at this time, uh, but she is trying to flee to Mexico. So we're trying to see if if we can get a trooper out there. The last vehicle she was in was a Honda CRV. The one wow. The vehicle that she's in, she's been switching cars. We do have her have probable cause on her for burglary, which occurred. Mm, 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 mm. What are the odds, the chances of somebody being on the radio and, and, and on the phone with you, not with nobody else, you know what I'm saying, like on the radio with you? The same person you just got done talking to, trying to help them out, you was talking to somebody that was actually fleeing to Mexico. And he ended up saying that she was going to switch cars, so her saying, oh, I'm running on my ride 40 minutes away, so... That's you. I don't know what else to say. I don't know what else to say. Cause like, I'm not even gonna tell. I'm not even gonna say. Okay, I could have said that I don't need help. Um, I don't know. I'm just waiting on somebody, but they should be here in no time. I won't. I won't even give them time. I ain't even gonna say what car they in, who the person is, is a female or a male. Just know that somebody's coming. But. At that moment, she wasn't even thinking. So the fact that you are that type of female that got something in your car, you don't look. You see, don't, think about it. Think about, I'm not saying it like that, but I'm going to say it like that because I've seen it and it's been happening and still going on to this day. Just think about it was like an actual, because police officers, they go by appearance, they go by how you talk and all that shit. So her, she looked at her like, oh, she probably just came from a, like, she got a neck rest, like she just got for a flight, driving home type shit, or she just, came from like like she looked comfortable she looked man comfortable she don't speak english so it's like oh you need help instead like okay you good is there anything else what's your name anything like that usually it doesn't matter what you're going through police always ask for your for your name when you get pulled over or when they just behind you i don't know why they just do so like at that moment i don't think she asked for her name she just said uh i think she did she said wayne but it's the fact that she didn't even touch her name up or anything like that 
usually people go back to the car or the cops go back to the car and they set their name up on the computer to see if they got warrants or anything. They don't, they help them. If they do, they take they might still help them, but take them in custody at the same time. So that's just crazy, Chad. Y'all let me know. Y'all did let me know what y'all think about that. Because the fact that somebody we called. We don't have an arrest warrant as of right now, but we will have the arrest warrant. While the detective Ooh, mentions arrest Arthur, warrant? investigators would soon discover that what this woman had allegedly done right. was much more disturbing than just a robbery. After the call ends, Sergeant Campos quickly calls Officer Hernandez to send her back to the scene. The okay. time is now 7.20, uh -huh. meaning a full 50 minutes have passed since Wang told Hernandez that her friend was only 40 minutes away. Wow. Officer Hernandez urgently speeds off, hoping she isn't too late. Sergeant Campos follows suit, but given that he's two counties away from the location... Wait, 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 wait. How, did they even, how did they know that she was going to end up switching cars? Because the police officer that's, that got behind the lady that tried to help her, she never mentioned about... Switching cars, switching cars. Somebody got on the phone and said something about her switching cars. So that means that they had to track the number. I don't know how they do it. They probably had to listen to her phone calls, whoever she got on the phone with, to switch cars, but they don't know what car she in type shit. So let's just say she do get in the car and the police don't make it back in time. Bitch, you better lay, you better duck low. You better do everything that you can to not even stick your head out the fucking, like, let's, if you're riding in the fishbowl, you better dunk low. Now, if you're riding in a little tent, now, you might be okay, but you might still have to, like, scoot the seat back type shit when it is, you feel me? But, <laughs> who knows? You might not do none of them, like, you probably won't be making it to the car. I ain't gonna lie. Highly likely that Officer Hernandez will be on her own with Wang for a while. Right. Fortunately for her, she finds that Wang's friend still hasn't arrived to help her get back on the road. Wow. Officer Hernandez now has the difficult task of maintaining a friendly, non-threatening demeanor with Wang while essentially detaining her until more units arrive. Mm -hmm. Given the nature of Wang's alleged crime at the time, there's very good reason to believe that she could be armed and dangerous. Right. You're still here! You're still here! Yeah, you still you still here? What happened? No, she changed. Don't come in. Oh, he's no, still he not changed. here? Yeah, one hour. One hour? You just 30 minutes. Okay, you want me to see if I can help you? No, my friend's coming. Okay, is he coming from Albuquerque? Oh. Is he bringing you a flat tire? Is he bringing you a tire? Hey, you can bring me the, you can bring, you can take me, go here. Cause she looks like she's innocent. I mean, I, yeah, she like she's innocent as fuck. Oh, you want me to take you yeah, there? you can meet. Oh, well, let me see what your car looks like. Right, yeah, we on the ad, but right then and there, let me see what your car looks like. You already know she's right searching. Oh, you want me to take you yeah, there? you can meet. Oh, well, let me see what your car looks like. No. See, maybe I, ha I have a tire. I can help you with it. Mm -hmm. You can help me? Yeah. Let's see if... Okay. Are you still coming? Let's see. Ooh, you did a good job. What happened? Because I ain't gonna lie. out of the street, okay? I ain't gonna lie. You just know that you ready to go to jail. Something's about to happen. Like, on some real shit. If the same cop came back, my mind, I'm thinking, oh, I'm caught if I was in her situation, like, if I did something. If I didn't do nothing, she came back, she, then I ain't got nothing to worry about. You know what I'm saying? She's probably just trying to help. But that'd be weird at the same time. That means that she was thinking about 50 minutes to take you, 50 minutes to think about, like, let me just turn around and help that person type shit. You feel me? So, it would it would have threw me off. At that moment, I know she's going through it. Like, I just know she's like, damn. She keeps saying a friend coming, a friend coming. That's already letting the officer know that you are the, the victim. Like, you you the person that we're looking for type of shit because you switching cars. I mean, I don't want to say you switching cars is a problem, but at the moment, and, and you're in the same car that they're looking for, they said a Honda, I think. You, you're done. You're done. I'm not even going to lie. Chad, y'all let me know. She's done to me because fuck that. It's just the fact that the same cop came back, I would have been going through it in my mind. I would have been like, what the fuck? Hold on. Yeah, I hear you. Yeah, yeah, keep talking. Yeah. Why the fuck is she back? Like, you feel me? Like, what the hell? Like, somebody had to call you to tell, you know what I'm saying? Because you would have never came back. If anything, you would have let somebody know, like, hey, somebody on the uh, side of the road who need help. This is snack. 
You think you can help her? I'm about to go ahead on some other duties type shit. You feel me? It would have been different, but it's not that. <laughs> yeah, my mind would have been caught. Without them, it's, I don't give a fuck how bad you want to help me. I would have felt like that I'm caught because like, if I'm telling you I'm good and you left the first time, you come back and I'm still telling you the same story, what happened, just like you asked me the first time, Ain't no way you still ask me what happened, like how you did it. You asked me that the first time when you was over here. Now you drove off 50 minutes, you asked me the same question, something's up. No bullshit. I ain't gonna lie to y'all. I don't know. Yeah? 5, 580, Sinka. Let me see if I can take you there to Manal. You, you take me up? I have a 28 out of Pennsylvania. Yeah. And I'll be able to take you. Whether she earnestly plans on taking Wang anywhere or not, Officer Hernandez is certainly eager to get the suspect away from her vehicle. Let me see. Let's go over here and then let me go see if I could get a, a tire and they could come fix it for you and you could just go. Let's go over here. Where are you coming from? Let's walk this way. Where are you coming from? I see my bed. Oh no, I'm going to go see if they can get a, a, a tire for you. No, I'll take my bag. No, you don't need your bag. Here we see just how carefully Officer Hernandez must tread throughout this encounter. Allowing Wang to re-enter the vehicle at all, much less to retrieve a bag, could potentially disrupt the investigation and put the officer in grave danger. Thanks. At the same time, outright refusing to allow Wang to retrieve her bag could cause similar issues by tipping the suspect off that she's been caught, a thought which may already be crossing Wang's mind as Officer Hernandez shows further interest. Right. 10 hours? You've been driving 10 hours? Right. What the fuck? You're not tired? I'm not tired. What the oh, fuck? Oh, man. Let's go over here and let me go see. Call someone, see if they you got a tire You shouldn't have a mission in the bag. I'm going to be mad. Honest. Come on. You shouldn't have a yeah. mission in the bag. But you got to go. I got to go see if they the got a tire. The bag's not that point. Officer like, Hernandez why you bag? brings Wang to the car, where she subtly dials Sergeant Campos. So Selena has her out of the car. She's made contact with her. She's actually coming now. Let me hold on one sec, sir. Officer Hernandez has put the phone on speaker, and Sergeant Campos listens to her conversation with the suspect. Good morning. Good morning. I'm going to address the driver of the backup for state police, uh, SB 580. The address right now is the... I don't know why I thought she was just having a conversation. It's going to be a reference to a uh, homicide suspect out of New York. Dr. Pronounce the name. Uh, we'll run him right now to see. How long have you been staying here for an hour? Just... Hey. 20 minutes. 20, you've been here for 20 minutes? 15 minutes. No, you've been here for about a good hour. You're not even a good, no, you're not even a good liar, bro. Like, how are you going to tell somebody, bro, she came back, you telling the same cop, now I can see it was a new cop, but you telling the same exact cop how long you've been here. Like, she don't know what time you, you're done, bro. You're going to jail. You've you been it. here for a good hour. Mm -hmm. I've been here just jail time. 20 minutes. Yeah? Yeah, about, yeah. Let me see if I could get a tire and they'll come fix it for you. And then you can head on your way. You can fix it. Fix yeah, but I got to see if I could get a tire for you. Cannot fix it. You have to. Yeah, because you don't have a spare. Yeah. All right. I don't have a spare. He, he has the spare? Uh, yeah, I'm calling someone to see if they have a spare for you. Yeah. All right. Let me see. I gotta keep calling numbers, okay? Just don't let her My thing is, cars. you ran. Sorry. Well, you know why you put that mask on though, before you got the cops? You had that mask on though, like the whole ride. Know, by yourself. You got the mask on. Ain't gloves on. Yeah, I told her to detain. I think because she's wanted it. Homicide and all that. We already need to detain until. Get those wow. In a shocking twist, what started out as a charge for burglary had now turned into homicide. Mm. Stuck on the highway with a potential killer, Officer Hernandez continues calling several different numbers until she eventually gets back in contact with Sergeant Campos. Hello? Hey, are you okay? Did you rape the detainer? No, uh, I'm out here with a stranded motorist with that 28 I gave you. Okay, well, I'll we'll have units heading that way, but. If you can't detain her, if you don't feel comfortable, wait for units, we just don't let her get back in that car. They're checking if you have, they have any spare tires for you, but they could come fix it. Yes. I don't know, Pony Express. Wow. No, it's out here at the 191. Yeah, they're checking right now. What's your name? She's capping like a motherfucker. She's Juan? perfect. Juan? W-A-N-G. <laughs> oh, W-A-N-G. They're going to call me back. Wait. So I get the car? Are you cold? Oh, okay, hold on. Just wait for a minute. Is it cold? Aren't you from Pennsylvania? 
It's not cold there? Oh, no. It's warm? It's cold too. Oh, it's, it, both places is cold? Sergeant Campos has just given Officer Hernandez the go-ahead to formally detain Wang, mm. which in some ways simplifies matters. But now, either out of innocent discomfort or feelings of suspicion, Wang complicates things once more. Mm. We want to add. Discomfort or feelings of suspicion, Wang complicates things once more. Right. Can I take the clothes? Huh? I go to the car and take the clothes. Oh, you need clothes from there? Okay, hold on. What, do you, what did you need from there? Huh? What did you need from there? Why are you just making what, yourself what more size? Clothes. Oh! It's a cold. Oh, yeah, she's getting okay. frustrated. Clothes! All right. Well, just hold on, okay? Right, right here, right, right here, right, right here. I don't know, because I don't know what's in your car. Hold on. You just need a sweater? Yeah. Okay, is it in the front or the back? Yeah. Let me see. Hold on. You can open. Okay. Well, I don't. I don't know what's in there. I just got to make sure there's no one else or anything else in there. Right. You can open it. Okay. Just for right now, let me see if um, your hands. Let me see your hand. What? So I'm gonna just detain you for a little bit until I figure out what's in your car. What? Let me see what's in your car and then I'll get you your jacket. Okay. okay. Hold on. Hold on. Okay. Hold on. Hold on. Is he still reaching for the car? Why? Why? Yeah. Huh? Because I'm gonna what? see what's in your car. Why? Why you? How huh? you cut me? No, I'm gonna just detain you for I can see. Get your sweater. Yeah, but so what? What you want to tell me? What? What? Uh, you yeah, what? what? Because I'm gonna get your sweater. Officer Hernandez tries to find some middle ground by acting as though she were merely detaining Wang in order to safely retrieve the sweater. Right. But as Wang becomes increasingly agitated, it seems clear that the pair have begun to move past their shared facade. Oh, 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 oh. You're not gonna get back. You can see it. Okay. You can see it. I hold on. Okay. You, you can see it. Turn around. Okay. Oh my oh, wow. god. Okay, hold on. Okay. Stop right there. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Right there. Uh-huh. <laughs> oh, help me. Hold on. Help me. Ah. <laughs> oh, fuck you, Lee. What? What? With Did no updates coming or? in, Sergeant Campos and the units en route begin to grow concerned about the officer's safety. What is the last time a protect was there? About two minutes ago, she was on public service. Very excited there. Simple report. Torrance County should have somebody really close over there. Yeah, like what the fuck? I thought that's what he was doing the whole time going over the there. Units Sergeant Campos requested were given the wrong location, leaving Officer Hernandez alone with this potentially dangerous woman for longer than they know. Wow. Wow. Turn around. Oh my god. Uh -huh. That's crazy. Get on your belt. Just Stop. imagine she was actually in. Just imagine she was like having a shootout. And y'all tell me I got the wrong location on where she was at? How? I like don't wow bro. Ain't no fucking way. The wrong location is fucking insane, Chad. Like just imagine that you got to send the wrong location to to your people's way and die. Like he's in a dangerous situation. I'm talking about a nigga got a gun to his head. You can't make it in time. He gave you a certain time just to come get that nigga and you can't make it. Like. I know what happened to you. This is all good. You screaming? I wonder what she's charged with. That's what I'm here for. Stop me. I don't know you. I don't know you either. She tries to keep Wang still. A civilian driver notices the struggle. Uh, help. Uh, help get me. on your belly. Help me. Get on your belly. Help Turn me. Around. Put your hand behind your back. Uh, Put it behind your back. Stop. Uh, Stop. What the? Put your hands behind your back. Wow. Uh, uh, w man or L man? Stop Let me know. Moving. I give him a W. What? Just no. because she deserves it. He's helping. I can't deserve it. I'm gonna get him in there. He deserves it. Stop. Stop. Get up. Uh, get up. Let her know. Yeah. Okay, come. Just come on. Roll her on her knees. There you go. Stay right there. Stop moving. 
At this moment, the unit Sergeant Campos sent over finally arrive on scene, effectively yeah, ruining whatever chances Wang had of escaping custody. Why were you trying to get in the car? I told you not to get in the car. Right. Come on. He's good. He's good. He's good. Yeah, she is. She is. Yeah, it's just. Right, they give us wrong yeah. 49. Well, I'm With Wang now in custody, the officers Hello. approach the Good Samaritan who relays a pleasant meeting with Officer Hernandez. I appreciate you. Are you okay? Yeah. When I was, com I was coming down the road and I looked over and I saw you wrestling with her, I hit the shoulder and backed up and ran over here to help you. I appreciate you. Man. Yes, ma'am. I remember Why are you. From you. I Mexico? talked to you. Here? Yeah, I talked to you at the mountain station on Montebo that morning. That's crazy. When the weather was all nasty. What a coincidence. I don't remember, man. I'm sorry. Yeah. It's yeah. no big deal. You were dealing with all the big wreck and the big pile up and all that stuff. Right. Yeah, I remember your face. So. Was there oh, a you remember her face? No. Oh, okay, they must have been talking about him. Thank you. Back in Sergeant Campos's car, he receives the good news that Officer Hernandez managed to safely detain the suspect. Hey, uh, we have her detained at this time. I'm heading out to that location. She was still there. This is surely a huge relief, as this woman could have been mere hours from crossing the border, potentially escaping justice for an allegedly vile act. If we can get a warrant on her, any warrant that you guys have that's nationwide extradition, uh, that'll hold her in as it turns Funny out, insane. Wang's name is not really Wang at all, and the Honda CRB she was found in doesn't belong to her either. In reality, this woman is 31-year-old Haiyan Dang, a New Yorker who reportedly worked at a nightclub in Queens. It was here she met and began a relationship with Justin Lee, a seemingly well-off 26-year-old who was married to another woman. On September 19, 2021, Justin was found dead in Haiyan's Room by the, PD. the cause of death was a single gunshot wound to the head. Hayan, meanwhile, according to police reports, was seen driving his vehicle and eventually abandoned it in the parking lot of a grocery store in Pennsylvania. If this was the case, that's likely when she somehow acquired the Honda CRV with Pennsylvania plates. Justin's wife had actually contacted police about Hayan prior to Justin's death after she allegedly broke into their home, destroyed some of their property, and kicked her. A week later, Justin left left home, telling his wife he was meeting a friend for drinks and never returned. Though there is little information as to what may have potentially motivated Haiyan to perform these alleged acts, some news outlets have claimed that she was pressuring Justin to divorce his wife. They also claimed that when Justin attempted to break things off with Haiyan, she demanded a so-called breakup fee of $500,000. You all right? No. It, What's it, going on? It's hot. It's what? It's, it's, it's. It's tight? Yeah, it's tight, too tight. Bro, I'm too hot for this. Bro. Chat, somebody say something, bro. Somebody say something in the chat. Somebody say something right If this not the most craziest shit I ever heard in my entire life so far, like not in the like, bro, especially from somebody that don't, you can't judge a book by its cover. Like that is something. Like, bro, she will walk in the stores. You would think none of it. You would probably date you. Ooh, she look good the whole time. She a serial killer. She a, she she got five warrants out. She do identity theft, anything, bro, like, you would never know. And it's like, it's just by her, the way they look. So, so damn. Did y'all hear what bro just said? <laughs> you I don't even know how long you're going to be in jail. I just want to know how long she, fuck jail, you are going to prison, man. You are going in there, like. You killed, I guess your your boyfriend, cause he have he was married to some some other woman. You end up finding out, you ended up killing him. Okay. 
okay? And I have a baby. It's all my... Are you pregnant? Yes. How many months? Two. You heard that right. Ayana's claiming that she is two months pregnant. Sergeant Campos finally makes it to the scene, where he's greeted by Officer Hernandez and the other units involved. After contacting a towing company to transport the Honda to a secure location for proper inspection, he searches the inside of the car to see if there are any items of value in order to document them on the towing sheet. When he does, he finds a black bag on the passenger side of the vehicle, the same side Hayan was desperately trying to get to during her struggle with Officer Hernandez. When he unzips the bag's front compartment, Sergeant Campos finds a fully loaded revolver. Also found in the car at a later date is a large sum of cash totaling over $99,000. Hyun Deng was extradited to New York, where she was indicted by a Queen's grand jury on murder, burglary, and gun charges. Hyun is being held on Rikers Island, where she awaits her next court date in early 2024. Results of this case are still pending. Oh. I want to know, chat. I want to know what's her, like... Fuck. <laughs> Murder, gunfire, and burglary? That's a scratch to the head for real, bro. Like, my head's really itching, I feel like. Y'all know I, I don't scratch my head doing videos. Like, that made me itch a little bit. I'm not even gonna cap. Like, that's... That's scary. That's real scary. I wanna know... I wanna know what really happened to her. Like, y'all let me know down in the comment section. Somebody search it up, do some research. DM me on Instagram, bro. Please, let me know. Let Nazi know. Because I would love to know her actual, like... Like, from, from the beginning to the end. Like we already know what happened a little bit, but we don't we wanna know what's but we know the reason why, but we wanna know more. You know what I'm saying? We wanna dive more in. Now, that's the type of motherfucker I am if I'm gonna do reaction videos. So y'all let me know what y'all think. Y'all go ahead and let me know down in the comment section. Y'all really appreciate it, you know what I'm saying? I appreciate y'all coming by, you know what I'm saying, watching this video with me and reacting to it as well. You know what I'm saying? It was nice making this video. It was nice reacting to it and seeing some dumb shit like this happen on my birthday. Basically, like we reacted to it on my birthday, it's twelve o'clock. So, yeah, make sure that you like and subscribe and turn my post notifications if you want more videos like this. Put down in the comment section. We need it, Noxy. No bullshit. We need to see some more. If you fuck with it, hit that like button. If you want to be in the Noxy family, all you got to do is put down in the comment section. Hashtag KNOX, YYFAM. I'm going to like it. Let's know that you're in the Noxy family. It's that simple. And follow me on my Instagram. We'll be linked down in the description so it'll be easy for you guys to follow it. So you don't have to follow nobody else. So you think that's me. It's really not Noxy. You're going to be sorry. So y'all go ahead and show Noxie some love. You know what I'm saying? I really appreciate it. Um, I love y'all. Y'all my heart. Y'all my soul. I bomb and never fold. It's your boy T2E Noxie. But shh. Don't tell nobody. Lock her ass up. Like, matter of fact, she already locked up. Don't throw away the keys. <laughs>